I'd like to give you a demonstration today of SWIM, SQL Web and Image Manager. Now we've reduced the menu options to applying, capturing, and mounting a WIM image. If you take a look at the disk management snap-in, you'll notice an uninitialized hard disk. This is the disk we want to apply our image to. We'll browse to the WIM file here. Notice on the right, there's a list of hard disks on the system. Contained images are listed below. Now define your disk layout, defining the partitions, specifying the drive letter, the volume label, partition size, and whether or not it's active. Create another partition. Drag the image to be applied to the desired partition. Click the button. The process begins. Now if we go back to Disk Manager, you can see the partitions being created and formatted. If we look back, now we can see the progress as the image implies. And while that's going, we're going to take a look at some of the other sections. Now to mount an image, simply select the path to the image. Notice the list of images contained populating below. Browse the path where it's to be mounted. Select whether you want read write access. We'll take a peek back at the disk we were provisioning here. We'll see the process is completed. And I'll show you the path where this image will be mounted. currently empty. We'll now mount the image. And on the right hand side it indicates that the image is mounted. And if you selected right access, you can choose whether to commit your changes upon unmount. And we'll unmount the image. capture functionality. Notice the list of logical drives listed on the left. Select the type of compression you want to use for creating the image. Select the destination file. If you choose an existing image, it'll just be appended. Or you can create a new file. Click capture. Process begins. If you find this tool useful, come check it out at our blog or website at www.getasequelweapon.com.